There we go, golden cape, baby, let's go. All right, now I got the cape. Ah, oh, let's fucking go. All right, there we go, nice. All right, there we go. Just got the cape. These are the ones I had did. Ah, uh, let's go, let's go make that cape. All right, what's good, y'all boys, and welcome to my golden cape shard guide. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you what I had did for the golden cape event. So, I already have all my eight shards, and these are the ones I had did. You know, quest, combat, gathering, artisan, support, boss, buy, and premiere. And I'm gonna go over my methods of what I did. And yeah, let's just get into it. So the quest one, it was super simple. Just complete the new foundations, murder on the border, and unwelcome guest. I have those on the channel. And yeah, that was pretty easy. For combat, this one actually took a long time. But you can really get it honestly anywhere because you can either go train your slayer with combat or you can just do bossing because it is considered combat unless it's Croesus. so for me i got mine with doing a boss pretty much at the same time so the boss and combat you can really get two in one and just talking about the boss might as well get into that i would say go for any boss that has real high marks of war when you defeat the boss and i'm on screen i'm gonna show a list of you know the highest marks of war for each boss and of course you can afk it like with god wars 1 maybe god wars 2 now but i wouldn't really do that because the higher the marks like if you get like 400 i think that's a better chance than just getting 60s maybe a hundred because the higher the number i'm i'm assuming is going to be better that's what i believe so it, it improved down because i got this one basically right away and no lie the beaches was actually where i got most of my shards at like hunter i literally got it here for the gathering and yeah all i did was play hook a duck and i did this for like maybe like two hours maybe but i I did all the other skills too that was trying to like surround gathering and i'm like but i got it here at the beach and i was like this is real good and of course like if you drink the the martinis or the like any of them and the one that increases the chance of hook a duck and i'm gonna show you what it is so for this one right here the ugly duckling the beach cocktail it says increases your prowess while i hook a duck increase your xp gain by three times a hunter level so i was like okay if i'm getting more xp and i have a an age of prowess at hook a duck so i'm like all right so let me just do this at the beach and gain good xp at the same time but if you don't have this and you know why you're training here at the beach there's something called the advanced cocktail kit and this allows you to create any cocktail like a specialty one like this one and it looks like this all right so as soon as you click on it you get the main ones yeah so you got dungeoneering the hunter the farmer the fisher over there and the delight sandcastle building all right so moving on for artisan what i had did because you can do either herbal or crafting, fletching, smithing. You know, you already know what's there. So what I had did, I came to the beach again. And did some construction on the sand. Like literally, all I did was just stay here for sandcastle building. And being under the spotlight's even better. And I'm telling you, man. Just doing this for construction and I had got it here. I got that for this shard. Alright, so for the support this one was real interesting because i was doing the dungeoneering hole for like hours on hours and i wasn't even getting it here they say you can get it here which is true but uh nah so i'm gonna show you where i had got it all right so all you gotta do is we're gonna head to the agility at the archaeology guild so grab your archaeology journal teleport all right so head to the east And we're going to head to the place where Zamrak had stabbed Zeros in the chest with the Staff of Armadale. 
So we're gonna head through these ancient doors. Past Cilia Diggory. Alright. Head this way. Go down. Right, so this is where I had got mine. So yeah, you would just come on the bicycles. And you know, if you get on the empowered one, it's also good. So yeah, this is all I had did. And just <laughs> get my train in there. And now for this shard, for the buy, it says there's a shady salesman hiding in the Grand Exchange. And bring him 25 million or 10,000 protein items, right? So, we're at the Grand Exchange. This is the front where you see the the Tudor and Giles. So he's over here on the east side. So you just come over here and you'll talk to Nick. He's hiding in the corner. And he'll be like, what are you buying? Right, so you would just talk to him and you would buy it off of him for that shard. And for the premiere, I recommend anybody playing this game to get premiere because it has a host of benefits and it was an easy shard to get. And it's a year-long <laughs> membership to RuneScape. Come on. It's super cheap. And yeah. So that's basically all the methods I had did to gather all these shards. It's going to take you a while. But it, it's fairly quick. Even though that was contradictory. But it, it is what it is. Yeah, you just got to grind it out. They, it's RNG based pretty much. But if you keep on going with it, you'll get it eventually. Alright, so I have my eight shards on me. Alright, so let's see what the... <laughs> let's see how it looks like. This is just like the golden party hat. Alright, so... We have the eight shards. And combine it with that wise old man. Right, I would like to combine my shards into a golden cape. The wise old man works his magic and the eight shards are combined into a golden cape. Nice. And you receive three gate keepsake keys. Nice. I've also thrown in some extra magic alongside the cape. For the next four weeks, while in combat, you will have a 5% chance to reduce damage by... Oh, you receive by 99%. Oh, that's like a lucky perk. But 2% better. That should help you keep alive in any tight situations. And should you be looking to train any of your gathering skills, you'll be guaranteed to transport certain items directly to your bank. Okay. While they are both powerful effects, should you wish, I can remove them if you desire. Talk to me if you would like me to apply or remove them, either of the effects at any time. Hope you enjoy your rewards. Thank you for taking part in the hunt. Alright, nice. Alright, let's see how it looks. Alright, so let's see. Ooh. You see, the, the, the graphics look good on the cape. But why does my face look like PS2? I don't get it, man. I got polygons in the face. But the cape look PS3. We not even PS4 graphics yet. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, the cape, it looks it looks alright. It looks it looks it, it looks alright. But the face. Why the face look like PS2 though? <laughs> yeah, but the cape looked good. The cape looked good. All right? It's got reflectory. Yeah. It looked good. All right, so there we go. That's how we get it. Oh, yeah, and one time for the one time golden party hat. One time for the one time, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, this should look pretty cool.